What is good, you too? It's AJ Boogie. I'm back at it again, and I'm bringing that JBA. Before I get started, Boogie Squad, I need you right now. Follow my man Cam. He's from Virginia. He's a JBA enthusiastic, and he's going to be bringing those JBA highlights, that JBA heat. I'm going to put his Twitter name and his YouTube name in the description. Go check him out. He's great. The Dallas Ballers got their first win of the season, defeating LaMelo Ball and the Los Angeles Ballers by a score of 122-110. to This game was definitely one that LA will want to forget soon. Dallas played with a lot more heart. They out-rebounded LA 82-62 to by 20. LaMelo Ball finished with 40 points, another very impressive outing. I can't get over how LaMelo Ball has the ball on a string at all times. His ball handling is incredible. I'm going to say it one more time. I am very impressed. I have not seen a 16 year old who can use his left hand as a weapon, as a driving weapon, as a passing, and scoring. There was one play that stood out to me in particular. It was LaMelo and Greg Floyd coming down on a two on one fast break. LaMelo rises up like he's going to shoot a layup with his left, brings it up, brings it back down behind his back. Beautiful pass to Greg Floyd for an easy dunk. Like I've told you, that's that Lonzo vision I'm talking about. That's that NBA DNA that I'm talking about. He's becoming more of a floor general. There was a sequence of events where I thought in my mind, this kid's gonna go pro. I know it, it's gonna happen. On the defensive events where it started, yeah, picture that. Me saying LaMelo and defense in the same sentence. He took a charge, took a knee right into the chest. It was going to be an easy dunk. The guy took off like he was going to take it for a dunk. LaMelo stood his ground, took a charge. Okay, LA comes down, Melo drains a three. Right after the three, LaMelo gets a steal. Got it on the fast break. Instead of pulling up for a three like he usually typically does once he gets cooking, he dished it off for another bucket. Four possessions in a row that featured him. Take a charge, hit a three, get a steal, get an assist. A five point swing all by himself with two stops. Now, I was getting ready to grill LA's coach. They were pressing the whole game, they were lazy, they weren't too energetic, and that's kind of the style they play. During the course of the game, Dallas was out coaching LA, and it was clear. The LA coach made a good move, but it was a little too late. He put LaMelo in the back of their press. Instead of having LaMelo at the top of that 2 2 1 press, he put him in the back line, and it paid off. Like I said, LaMelo, he's got Lonzo vision. He sees things that other people don't. And when he's playing Rover, center field, he's in there. He's in the passing lane. He's anticipating. He anticipates so well. If I'm LA's coach, I have to find a way to get Greg Floyd involved. Too many times LA will play sporadic where he gets punished and he doesn't get to touch the ball and then it becomes LaMelo Ball is the only one who can score. That Niles Malone, he had an okay game. He didn't do as much scoring. It was more guard centered. LA, find a way to get Greg Floyd touches. He might be your best player. And I think that kind of took him out of the game. He couldn't get in a rhythm when he did get touches. It started to become LaMelo Ball drive to the basket, make something happen, or hopefully he gets a foul drawn. And that's another thing with LaMelo. He drives without any fear. He's not afraid of contact, and he's strong enough to finish with contact. My last point with LA that I want to make, I got to give some criticism. This Dimba Timbo guy. Since day one, I have not been too impressed with him. He's seven feet tall. He doesn't rebound particularly well. He's got good size. He's not really that athletic. I haven't been impressed. He can't catch as a big man. He's the biggest guy that LA has to offer, but he doesn't rebound that well. Greg Floyd is their best rebounder. He's 7-1, but he plays like he's 5'3". Now, let's talk about the Dallas Ballers. They are big. B-I-G with all capital letters. As I'm watching them, I can't help but focus on their center, Nate Morris. I had to look a little deeper into Nate Morris. I was thinking there is no way this guy with this much size and this much athletic ability that there was no way that this kid wasn't a D1 prospect at one point or another. He was a three-star recruit coming out of high school, a former McDonald's All-American nominee, and played at Ole Miss. He's got to be close to a seven-footer. 
He's big, he's tall, he's athletic. He had 24 points, 9 rebounds, 4 blocks. Now you may be thinking he should have had more rebounds, but he was a rim protector. Anyone who came to the paint, you were going to meet him. And he was good. He would play vertical. Couldn't call a foul on him. You want to know why LA got out rebounded by 20? It's because of him. Very impressive kid. Got a block on one end, sprinted down to the other, and got a dunk. He runs the floor extremely well. He's going to make a lot of coaches happy. If I had to describe him to you, he's definitely of the Tristan Thompson mold. He protects the rim very well. He runs the floor very well. He sets good screens. He can play perimeter defense on a pick and roll. He's just an overall good basketball player. Something else that impressed me with this Dallas squad, another reason why I'm telling you they outcoached LA, which led them to this victory. They didn't take any threes in the first half. From every game that I've watched so far this year, there are only a handful of people that can shoot an NBA 3. And some teams just continue to shoot it. They might miss 20 in a row, but you better believe 21's going up in a second. I believe Dallas finished shooting 5 threes in total the whole game. Missed all 5, but it didn't matter. They controlled the paint, they controlled the boards, they wouldn't let LA run. Now, something that I like that the JBA did, it had an NBA feel, it was then playing music during the whole course of the game. If you ever been to an NBA game, they play music or instrumentals throughout the whole game. Every possession, a new instrumental. That was pretty cool. Atlanta also featured in the crowd Lil Yachty. Now let's get into grades. I want to give all the credit in the world to the Dallas Ballers. I want to give a lot of the credit though to the Dallas Ballers coaching staff. They coached an excellent game. They controlled the pace of the game. They wouldn't let LA do what they do best, which is run. They made LA play defense, which they don't want to do. They want to play 100 miles per hour, which involves a lot of turnovers, a lot of shots, but Dallas controlled the pace. They made them play. Dallas gets an A. Players and coaching staff, easy A. Let's talk about the ballers. Like I said, they got out coached. They played a good game, but got out coached. It was evident throughout the whole game. I'm gonna give these guys a B. As far as product on the court and the game, I'm going to give it another B. The flow of the game just wasn't the LA baller way. They got out of sync, they got out of sort. They weren't at their tip top shape. The JBA also, they need to expand their rosters next year. Having eight players is not enough. There's too much fouls that go on and you got a short bench. Every game you're gonna have to deal with foul trouble. That's just the way it is, especially if you got a physical team like Dallas. As far as entertainment on the court, I thought it was pretty good. Talent wise it's there, athletic ability wise it's there. I just didn't like how LA, the only time they played tough defense was late when they were down and had to make a run. Then they start playing tough defense. Then the game became more interesting. But I think a B is a very fair grade. That's all the heat I got for today. Like, comment, subscribe to the Boogie Squad. I'll be bringing you that Atlanta baller Jordan Ray and against the Houston ballers heat. Stay tuned. I got the Jello Ball video coming on the way. I haven't been dodging the video. It's a video that I've had to put a lot of thought into. That'll be coming soon. Stay ready. AJ Boogie, I'm out. Boom!